ਕੁ ਚੋ ហើយនិយាយប្រកាសបន្តគេចំណាយការសកម្មនាការហើយមុននឹងចាប់បន្តក៏ចំទោសរបស់មេត្តវីទាំង <cười> ombi bomnong robos ang yamreh khnong ka sadap sakhai kam sasai dai chi mantri mok pi macha mandol ai kasa kampuchi ang yamreh som jumrieb dal medavi ka pi kadai nun chi nang phia ki do tei tiet nei reang kadai ni prom tiang sa thien sa thien na chun ban chi riep tha dai mien panh ha chom pus mok nang som nal som robos medavi ka pi kadai phia ki ang yamreh nung ko anchuny sa sai tcw 7623 ពាក្យគីបានលើកឡើងតវ៉ាចំទោះគ្នានៅក្នុងកិច្ចវិភាក្សាប្រមាណថ្ងៃកលមនីហើយកិច្ចការស្ដាប់ចំឡើយសក្
ในปีนี้ได้ยังหนึ่งบรรทออาสนับการจุ่มตัวเปียกปอนหนึ่งไอกระซ่าขนมอัปปะสมปอนบายหนึ่งบุญประสันบ่ายช่วยเติบบ้านลำบงแล้วลำบงนี้ยังหนึ่งสนับการจุ่มตัวเลยไอกระซ่าในขนมอัปปะสมปอนในขนมอุปปะสมปอนเอบายกรมเมตตาบีกาเปียกระไดตั้งใบกรมเมียนปีเปลี่ยมมวยเมาลงกาช่วยการจุ่มตัวไฮเปลี่ยมเปลี่ยมมวยเมานี่คือเมตตาบีไอใบใจได้คลนไอเนี่ยขนมกรมนิมวยนิมวยเนี่ยเตอร์เอากรมนิมวยนิมวยได้คลนไอกับบ้านให้ประชาชนบางเมตตาบีกาเปียกระไดตั้งใบกรมขมิ้นกาใบใจเจนนู้บางเมตตาบีกาเปียกระไดกรมนิมวยนิมวยเมียนปีเปลี่ยมมาเพย์เนตีเนี่ยขนมกาลางบางฮันตีกาจุ่มตัวระบักคลนเจ้าหน้าบ่งนี้เอาอย่างไรปกติเวทีการตื่นเมตตาบีการพิกระไดนุ่นชี้ประสันบำเพ็ญการจุ่มตัวจะเลิกการอุปสมไอกษาอุปสมบูรณ์เอใบนี้สมเชยสมกรุบอังสนาคาสมกรุบลูกปทินบนตัวพิกาสลับกาใจใบเงยหนูเอาปัสปอนมวยหนึ่งปีโดยมกเอาปัสปอนใบนี้ครูเขียวเมียนคล้ายให้นางสมบัญชังสไลด์ปีคราวปีบานเป็นนัดเลือกไอซ่าไอใบจีพิซาขมายนี่โดยมกกรมยังเขียวสังเกตเคยถ่ากรุบไอกษาดามจีพีซาขมานี้สุดแต่เมียนสัตย์เสด็จได้เลือไอกษาเมนิทจาโนเลือไอกษาโนจาควิอาซอควิจีพีไซจาร์ดพีสจีเบอาซอลาตังพงจีพีซาอังเลยพีซาเวียดนามขมาหนึ่งเวียดนามเลือกพินิก็เมียนกาลุบหนึ่งสัตย์เสด็บันไทม์เลือไอกษาติดพงกาสัตย์บรรเทมนี่คือกาสังสายมวยตัวเลือพิบปิดประกอบเนื้อเลือไอกษาโดยนี่ยึงยึงเขียมจำบัตรเตาแต่รกอ่อยคืนถาตาการสัตย์บรรเทมนี่วิกัดกลอยหมกบรรทบปีชั่งมวยปอนประบุนอยเจ็ดสับประบุนหรือก่อเชียพิบดำระบาดเวียมวยเป็นทิศไอกษาพิจารณมีนคนพิบอ่อนให้พิจารณาดูภายในคลาระบบไอกษาเหมือนอายุบาลตัวสอบดามใบดอสไลปัญหาในบ้านยึดเข็มนูเตเรซาจมโฮระบบยึงเข็มดอกได้โครงการก็เฮาเนตตูคอเตอร์ดีซีแคมดามใบหมกบัญเจปีกาชาจมนาเนื้อเลือไอกษาอย่างนุ่งบันเทมให้นึ่งพัดดอนูไอกษาชักบัดาวดอลอังกิลมเยอะดามใบปีนัดเยียะทาพูดรบบวีบาปมโดยนี้เตยืดเข็มเนื้อแต่เรศจมโฮดอดได้ขนมกาจมโตเตือนหนึ่งไอกษารบบมาชักมันดูไอกษากำเชียแต่ดัจูนดอยกาเยลัยสหปริญญาเนี่ยเข็มกระทาเข็มกระทาคาอันจึงหมกจะพูดหมกตุลาคาจะพูดคาถนัดเนี่ยดักนอมรบดีสิเข็มมันมีปัญหาไว้แต่ทั่วกอดมันอาจหมกบานุติหายกันแต่ชั่วเตี้ยนุกุจิกาคาปีมาเซลมิงกอดบานเป็นเจ้านุขนงเปราะปฏิบัติปรมินพรมเป็นปอถากอดจำกอดจำสนับบัญชีปีตุลาคาจำพวกวัตมินรบกอดนุกน้องสาวนาการีต่อตัวนี้ลูกปฏิญยมส้มอัญญาตรอบอัญญาตรอบปีไอกษาเดลพนัยคละรบบอเวียมันอาจอันยุลบานโดยเฉพาะไอกษาอีเอสดับใบจุดบุญไอกษาดับใบจุดพรำหนึ่งไอกษาดับใบจุดผมมุ้ยอันนี้ไอกษามันชบะ
nhưng bà sân lưu bình thiên an nhát xong ôi bình chàng xa nếu anh xa ES đọc bây chạch bà mùi đâm bây chùn tà lạc ca mơ bàn mơ ôi mẹ an nhát Nếu không ai có xa này, tôi là các bạn khơi nhỏ ấy, chùm ná, xe xa, phía chân là tăng Hãy, mình sâu cho bác, mình đang thả mách, hay mình đang nè nà nè, chà nó lươn nâng, để mình cù rùng vùng mù lùi của hòm này Hãy miễn ai có xa và to đầu tiết, cứ ai có xa, đê mà phê pra, pi rôi hà muối, flash muối Ai có xa, y s, đập bấy, chạch, bàm bầy ai cứ xa để bị rơi sai phẩm bấy đã flash chạy phẩm muối chạy muối nên chạy muối ai cứ xa es đập bấy đập ai cứ xa es đập bấy đập muối ai cứ xa để bị rơi sai sai phẩm bấy flash phẩm muối chạy muối chạy bấy ai cứ xa es đập bấy chạy mà phê ai cứ xa es đập bay chạy mà phải mùi, ai xa es đập bay chạy mà phải bay, nâng ai cả xa đi mà phải sai pi rơi sai phần bay, flash phần mũi, chạy mũi chạy đập phần bay, nhưng xong từ là ca do lục thiên mita anh nhạt ở trạng bị bị trang slide nữa ai xa đi, mũi mũi ná mũi ná xong tu mà nói tiếp D P O S A bầm bay flash bầm mũi chạy mũi chạy đập bầm bay nhát thông thông chỉnh ai cứ xa tiếng pin đi, đại ban bằng hai nước nông xoáy, tờ lá cá ban khơi hỏi mình cho bà lúa, hay mình mình đăng tham mình đi thay dạng mạch, mà là hỏi thưa cả xuân thịt than mình bàn, miễn ai cứ xa buồn tiết, xong chìm rìp, thà ai cứ xa es đập bấy chơi xàm sập buồn, ai cứ xa es đập bấy chơi xàm sập bầm buồn ai cả xa es đập bay chạy xa sập mũi nâng ai cả xa d bay rồi hoặc sập bầm mũi flash bầm tơ chạy mũi chạy bay rồi xa sập lô protein đòi xa tại pebble mình ăn nhạt khi bàn nhị dây bàn chán khi ông khi ông xôm bằng hai tại xa pi Nhiệt tế để mình chấp bác Hay là thưa cả Sơn Thị Thanh mình bàn Hẹn đi Khi ông bác Chìm riêng Tôi là cả viên đi Còn ở đây bác khi ông nôn chí Nếu ta tôi tui xong Ở phát đoàn nếu ai cả xa đam Đảm bấy một cú cồn Nâng ai cả xa thoát chùm lòng Đại tôi là cả Dọc một bà 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 sọt ngày đi Ở tư chí ai cả xa Mình dạy tháp hiếp Bất bà cọt Ai cả tôi là dọc bàn Xong ở con khi ông mình Sama kun. 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 Sama kun.
be absolutely clear. Uh, my uh, you my Son uh, 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 only showed two documents which he uh, explained contain paragraph extracts that uh, are illegible. Um, as examples, all the documents listed by him, all the numbers given, uh, uh, are referring to documents you could not read. Um, I'll, I'll be very brief. Um, as you know, uh, we have objected to documents coming from DC. Uh, we have taken the position, and we do that again, that those documents are inadmissible as long as we have not been able to be allowed to question uh, the new director of DC. Camp. Uh, that position is not being court. One of the problems we encountered is that we cannot make a list of documents uh, which come from we cannot make a comprehensive list of documents which were provided by DCCAM to either the prosecutor or the office of the investigating judges. For us it's very difficult to question the management of DCCAM and which is coming from DCCAM if we do not exactly know which documents they provided to either the prosecutor or the investigating judges. We have gone through the findings. We have read, of course, the latest findings, uh, where they give indicia of the liability of the various documents, and we have tried to reconstruct a list. But they have said it's not complete. They do not give information on all the documents, on the provenance of all the documents they intend to treat before the chamber. So our request to you is to this trial chamber to order the prosecutor to make a list of the list of the list they have already provided, a special column in the category indicating whether the documents come from the CCAM or not. Otherwise, there is no much point hearing witness number 766 on Monday. One other point I would like to make, I've gone through the list of witnesses, which has number E-109 stroke 43, and I've compared it to the original list, which has provided much earlier in April last year. Not a list of witnesses, but a list of documents. Um, and I noted that the original list of documents, which has... Uh, uh, has been labelled A3 is uh, almost uh, identical uh, to the list uh, uh, relevant for this mini trial, according, uh, according to the um, it raises the question whether all these documents the prosecutor would like you to admit are equally relevant. Um, I've gone through the list, the more recent list given to us by the prosecutor, and I've read the justification given by the prosecutor for tendering the documents, and I looked for references to either the evacuation of Phnom Penh, the Evacuation of other cities in the pre 1975 period, or to the movement of people covered by phase two in the mini development, the movement of people in 1975 from the north or the south to the north. And I can only, I only found three documents according to the prosecutor are relevant to those, uh, and those are the ones. Uh, uh, numbered 46. Excuse me, there's only two documents uh, which are relevant. Uh, number 46 and number one on the latest list with number E-4.3. Uh, 
only two documents mentioned either the evacuation of the city or the movement of the people. Other documents are basically irrelevant for the first mini-trial. There are some documents which could be relevant for the hierarchy. The structure of the Communist Party. Number two could be relevant because it describes the various responsibilities to the members of the standing committee. And there's another document which describes the responsibilities of the various ministries, also vis-à-vis -vis the standing committee, which is interesting because it describes uh, 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 the relationship, the hierarchy between the standing committee and the ministries. That's number 19. Those are the only documents which I find I could understand to be relevant to the first mini-trial. The rest is irrelevant, according to me. And I reiterate, I would like to stress that all the documents are relatively recent. The most recent, the, the oldest document provided in the list was dated in August. 1975, and that is more than four months after the liberation of Phnom Penh, the period we are actually supposed to discuss during this first mini-trial. The other documents are very interesting. Um, uh, they contain information about the rice production, about foreign relations, trade with China, the war with Vietnam, Vietnam, lots of information about Vietnam, Vietnam uh, the fighting of enemies, internal, external, about S21, about work sites, etc., etc., all very interesting, that is not the topic of this first mini-trial. Uh, there is a risk, a serious risk, that your trial chamber will be flooded with information which is actually not very relevant, that you will be forced to read, but not only after you will be forced to read illegible documents, uh, which are not relevant for establishing the guilt of my client, and I would like to invite your uh, honours, the trial chamber, to have a very close look, not only at the three, but also at the other documents, uh, Contained in A, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, up to 19, I think. I have a very close look at those uh, lists. Uh, look at the description given by the prosecutor and the reasons why they want to tender those documents and eliminate all those documents which, even according to the prosecutor, are not relevant for the first mini-trial. That's all I want to say, and I don't know if it remains in place. There is any feeling sorry to me. I can see the feeling that you have to do with the feeling that you have to do with the feeling that you have to do with the feeling. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. President. During the last presentation, I want to make an observation uh, that I would have made but for the trial chambers of the trial chambers of the trial chambers. Notation to the parties uh, last week, and that is, if you may recall, about a week uh, ago, I objected to the prosecutor giving evidence concerning the Fibbis report, wherein the prosecutor began to testify in this particular report, an entire speech by Paul Pott was delivered. This was an unusual situation that normally did do this, and so on and so forth, to which I objected. On the grounds that the gentleman was testifying, and your honors, after uh, uh, delivering, concluded that my objection was noted, and that observations made by the parties that is testifying, as the prosecution was doing, was not evidence. I'm reading to what, what I heard. You being professional judges certainly can sift through what is evidence and what is uh, argument or commentary by the parties. Now, I raise that because my remarks concerning the objections to that text 3 are the same 
ដោយសេរីនដោយដែលបានលើកឡើងចំពោះឧបសម្ព័ន្ធ we're talking about types of evidence. That's number one. And it was my understanding that it was not our we were not necessarily going to go through every single document and where we have a group of documents such as here we have the CPK uh, minutes of the meetings. We can lodge a global objection as we have. We can lodge a global what the prosecution did today in order to demonstrate that at least with, uh, with Annex 2, and I suggest that they will do the same thing with Annex 3, is the following. They testified. They provided what they believe is the foundation for these particular documents to come in. They made what is known as an offer of proof. But normally, a witness would make that offer of proof. But perhaps I'm mistaken. Perhaps in the civil law system, prosecutors are above, so far above the defense lawyers that they actually get to testify. And the judges rely on testimony for the prosecution instead of or in lieu of witnesses. So for instance, where we cannot establish the credibility of a particular piece of evidence, all we need to do is have the prosecutor testify as to the validity. I dare say that that is not my understanding of the civil law system. But that's what happened here today, and that's the objection uh, that, we are, uh, that we raised, and that is that it is simply not enough to say this document has this logo, it has five flags, they're all red, there's a, there are certain similarities, and therefore we have established the authenticity of these documents. We submit, and we have submitted in our submission, that the practice that is generally used in the international tribunals, but also in the domestic courts, is that you bring in a witness, someone who would have studied these particular documents and would be able to give evidence. For example, you could bring in one of these so-called Cambodian experts who over the years have spent a lot of time sifting through documents, original documents, where they understand Khmer, and they've spent a lot of time, and they would be able to say, having spent so much time with these documents, you know that there is a particular trend. And because of this trend that runs through these documents, we can say with some degree of certainty that in all likelihood, it is an authentic document. That is the way it's done. It is not done, I submit. By way of prosecution, uh, pointing, going through the document itself and saying, see, this document is similar with this one, and therefore, they're identical. That's called testifying. And, and it's impermissible. And that was one of the reasons why, Your Honors, uh, we, we had suggested that at some point they either have, have to bring in the witnesses or they can make an offer of proof that a witness will be coming. Now today, we heard the one prosecutor, I believe it was the, the international co-prosecutor, who indicated that you will be hearing evidence from a witness who will say X, Y, and Z. That's precisely my point. If indeed they have witnesses that will lay a foundation, then they should notify the trial chamber and the parties. And if those witnesses are not to appear in the immediate future, at least we are on notice that the authenticity Yet and somewhat reliability of the document will be connected later on to other testimonies. We also object to this notion that somehow something happened in Doik. Well, during Doik, you may have had CPK minutes of meetings. They may have been introduced. 
made a point yesterday. We were not there. We did not make objections. They had a different strategy. They had a different theory. But to assume that the trial team itself did an analysis to show that the documents that it was relying on subject to no objection were authentic and reliable. In other words, that you yourself during the deliberative process went through that process of deciding what documents were or were not relevant or authentic and reliable. Well, unless there is proof to that, and we would submit even if there was, in this particular case, we are entitled to make our case, and we are entitled to expect the prosecution to demonstrate uh, the why documents they want to rely on are authentic, reliable, and relevant. We specifically filed a motion on adjudicated facts against the application of adjudicated facts. You may recall that. I took the preemptive, we took the preemptive step of filing that motion because of my experience in the to suggest to the trial team about what was obviously known in the rules that adjudicated facts are not applicable in this case. In other words, you cannot as a trial chamber, say, we made this finding in Doyle, and therefore, we're just going to adopt it wholesale as if it's a proved fact and applied in this particular case unless it is rebutted by the other side. If you may recall, in fact, because I took this preemptive step, and it wasn't in the rules, I was cautioned, and in fact, DSS was instructed to look into whether we should not be paid for that work that we had done. But we did it for a particular purpose, and that is now we're seeing it. We did it because we didn't want your honors, to introduce documents from the DOIC case on the basis that simply because they were used in DOIC. Let me give you an example because this notion of international standards and in particular the privilege case is being thrown up by the parties on the other side. In the privilege case, there were some documents called the presidential transcripts. President Tuchman had a habit, like President Nixon, of tape recording all the meetings that he had. These were known as the presidential transcripts. And while the recordings were not available, actually the actual transcriptions uh, were available and had been introduced in previous cases. Previous cases that were the facts that were connected to the Perlitz case. Irrespective of the fact that they had been admitted in other cases, the trial team was still required to make an analysis. And it did so not on its own, but it did so because the defense insisted that the prosecution establish the origin of the presidential transcripts and the authenticity, the reliability, and the reliability and relevance did come into play. But nonetheless, they needed to make a showing. Now, what we saw today was a perfect example of how it should be done, but through a witness. So obviously the prosecution knows. We submit, and this is what I find somewhat, if I could use this word, pernicious, in this approach that the prosecution has taken. Their idea is, Especially now that the, uh, that the case has been severed and the prosecution is of the opinion that there will not be a trial number two or number three, their idea is to simply say to you, here are all the documents from the dossier, admit all of them, whether they are linked at this point or not is irrelevant. Whether they are tested by any uh, uh, witnesses, they're irrelevant. We say they're relevant. We say they're authentic. Admit all of them. So then what happens is we don't have a trial 
with any viva voce testimony or very limited viva voce testimony, but rather it becomes a trial by way of using documents that are untested. And that's how I see this. And I will speak more tomorrow when we, when we wrap up our remarks concerning how things are done at The Hague and in particular in the Provitch case because some innovative techniques were used but the onus was on the party who was proffering the evidence, the documents, to always demonstrate that the evidence was authentic and reliable. It may be a low hurdle, but nonetheless it is a hurdle in and of itself. And simply pointing out that it bears the mark of a particular institution, such as the United Nations. Or, for instance, the European Union monitors or European uh, community monitors. So the EC uh, monitors, for instance, give you another example. During the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina, we're on the ground, EU monitors monitoring the situation, writing reports. And the reports would be written at the ground level and would go up to a certain various offices and then on to the headquarters where they would be bundled up and summarized. Simply because you had the logo that said European Community Monitors, that in and of itself did not make the documents authentic, reliable, let alone relevant. What the prosecution had to do at the insistence of the trial chamber was bring in at least a custodian to demonstrate how were these documents prepared, by whom, what was the fashion in which they were prepared, how had they been collected, where have they been stored. It is up to the parties then to the introduction of these documents to challenge whether the content in the documents are reliable and relevant. And so we're suggesting that simply because something says DC CAM doesn't mean anything. And I, I, I'm not, I don't want to prejudge any evidence, but our position has been steadfastly consistent. And that is some demonstration has to be made. The prosecution has to, has to articulate with precision the exact documents it wishes to have before the trial chamber and for what reasons. And in doing so, they have to demonstrate that the documents are authentic, reliable, uh, and relevant. They're not doing that. To simply suggest that something comes from, has a particular logo, or certain phrases are in is not enough. They need to bring a witness who might be able to point that out. But for them to testify is totally unreasonable. And with that in mind, having said that, Your Honor, I will go back to my original refrain. When it comes to CPK minutes of the meetings, our primary objection is as follows. That unless they can demonstrate through a witness, not by testifying, not by testifying, through a witness, how these documents were generated, by whom, under what conditions, how they have been kept, something that would give you, Your Honors, some confidence that these documents are what they purport to be. The substance of the documents is another matter, because then obviously once the document comes in, the parties are entitled to challenge one way or the other uh, the substance. And if they wish to the link it up, that's fine. Now if the prosecution wishes to assist the trial chamber, as they seem to wish to have done so yesterday, and perhaps even today, but yesterday was a good example, they can simply say, we believe that these documents are connected, and here are documents that are connected to, uh, for instance, document A is connected to document B to document C, so for you to look at it, and for the parties to look at it and to examine it, but we submit we submit, as I said yesterday, you cannot give us the haystack, the proverbial needle in the haystack. Give us the needle. We're, we should not be expected to sift through all of these documents to figure out where the prosecution is going. If indeed the prosecution has the burden of proof. And finally, perhaps because we are, we are here, Perhaps we are here, Your Honors, because to no fault of the prosecutions, 
but perhaps because they didn't foresee it, and though they should have, but the procedure that we have adopted in this court, because these are extra, this is an extraordinary chamber and this is an extraordinary case, it's slightly different than what normally would happen if we were in the, in the pure civil law French system, either Cambodia or France. Because here, we have this dossier, and we agree that you know, the dossier is, is the universe of the facts upon which you can draw from. You know, that's the universe of evidence, in a sense, unless uh, uh, some, a party demonstrates otherwise from documents outside. So everybody has that. But under the system that I understand it, the judges are supposed to read the entire dossier, and the judges are actually leading the process. Whereas here, we've taken a slight variation, and that is asking the parties to identify what documents they believe are necessary to prove or disprove uh, uh, the case that is uh, based on the uh, uh, closing order. And it might be because the prosecution is no longer the captain of its own ship. Because they have a case in a sense, but, is, but their case is not being presented in the fashion in which they wish to present it because the trial chamber is dictating the order of the witnesses. The order of the witnesses. In, the, in an adversarial system or a party-driven system, the parties are the captain of their own ship. They, de they determine the course they wish to set, who the witnesses are, in which order, what documents with, uh, with each witness and what have you. So he, we are in somewhat of a, a slight uh, different situation. I'm not being critical of the trial chamber. It is what it is. But be that as it may, we believe and we submit that in order to avoid uh, future objections, it is best for the prosecution to demonstrate through witnesses, not through their mouths, not by testifying, why they believe certain types of evidence, whether they be the revolutionary flag, CPK meetings, telegrams, or what have you, why they believe these documents are authentic. The methodology, it's not difficult. They know their case. They can identify those witnesses. And I submit, Your Honor, they could be of assistance to not just the trial chamber, but also to the parties. And this may be something to, uh, worth considering. I thank you very, very much for your attention. And if there are any questions, I'll be happy to, to answer otherwise. I'll sit down. Thank you very much. ជួនបាទសូមអរគុណជាបន្តបង្រៀបសូមផ្ដល់វេទិកាទៅមេត្តាវីកាភិក្ខុដីគឺសម្ព័ន្ធដើម្បីលើកឡើងអំពីការចំ
ดำนางประชาชนในกัมพูชีประชาธิปไตยนังติบุญกำหนดให้อังประชุมเซ็มเซ็มเตียนจีรุ่มยังขยมเมื่อเคยทาเนื้อขนมเอาปะสมปอนนี่การจมตัวระบายยังขยมมันเข้าหาวัยปีเนื้อขนมเอาปะสมปอนตีปีเตจีจีจีโกลกาโนคือทาการเลือกล่างระบายสาปริญญามันบานบังหันปีสายสังวะในการเรียกสาไอกษาดำไปบังหันปีเพียบตรำตรึงบุมเมียนกาไก่บันหลอมหรือก็กาประดิษฐ์จมพูไอกษาจำนวนอย่างนี้เวียบังก้อเอาเมียนเพียบสังไซดูชนะหายบานเยื่อขยมเตรียมตีเอาเมียนกาตรุษปีนิดจมพูเนี่ยได้บานดอกไอกษาเตียงนุคิมบัตสมฤกปีกำหนดให้อังประชุมในกันอาจารย์ไตรกำหนดให้ประชุมกันอาจารย์ไตรเพียรจันทร์ตระบานโรเคิงนองเตลกะละเตสะโดยขณีตื่นนังศึกได้สำรัจจทั้งไอตีสามสับไข่มีเนื้อชนะมวยปอนปรมวยจัดสับปรมวยได้เมียนเลยดีปีรอยจัดสับปรมบุญสละปีสละสมโตสละปรมปีจัดปีนุดได้ได้ยังช่วงบานเลิกปีมาสามเองปีเพียบมันจะบ้าล้อในกาตัวตัวบานไอกสานุทีปีเด็ดโตนั่งกำหนดให้ประชุมในริรัฐในรัฐาภิบาลกัมพูชีประชาธิปไตยยืมเงินไอกษาจำนวนปีฉบับในขนมประเภทไอกษานี้ได้ไอกษาเตียงนุชีกำหนดให้จำนวนสัมเตียงรวิ่งกันนักปฏิภูบอร์ตเตในประเทศกัมพูชีนั่งกันนักปฏิภูประเทศจันให้เอาไว้คลาดเดอสาเรียญาบานบังหายจมปูไอกษาถึงปีนี้เตะตรงตัวหนึ่งต่ำร้อยเดออาจเชื่อเจ้าบานุไอกษาที่มุ้ยสหเปรียญาบานบังหายท่าไอกษานี้ตัวตัวบานปีนิยุรบันตรีหุ่นใส่ประกอบเอาไว้เติมมาเชื่อมันโดนไอกษากัมพูชามาเชื่อมันโดนไอกษากัมพูชาบัดดีซีแคมในชนะมวยปอนปั่นมวยรอยการสปรัมยังบันไดท่าเพียบเพียบปอนกรอนแต่ในยุโรปมันเตยประกอบเอาไว้เติมดีเติมดีซีแคมกระทาเวียนเมียนเพียบชื่อเชื่อตัวเลยไอกษาโนตังสรองรือมวยอย่างนั้นเอาไว้ได้ยืนจังดังไทม์เทียนนู้นคือท่าตาเลือดยูรามันตรีกาปิชนามุยปอนปรมบุรอยกาสปรามนั้นกอดบานตุตุลไอกสารนุดอยระเบียบนะตุตุลปีนนนะตุตุลดอยอย่างไหมนี่ดำไปบัญชีท่าวิจิตรจับดำหรือก็จิตรจับทอดจำลองจิตดำดำไปบังหันปีเพียบชื่อเจ้าไอการแต่จับมียังเทียบสหพิยัญญาบันบัญเจาะพองดาธาคลำซ่านในไอกษานุเติร์กบันบัญเจาะดอยสะใสมาเนี่ยดามิญเลยสมกอล
t c w ปรามรอยแปดในจมพัวมุกสหจักรอมเสื่อมเกณสำหรับพอดำเนินตรมตายปนนั่งยืงมันอายเอาดำไลท่าสะไอกระซามุยนี่จีไอกระซาตรมตรูกูไอจูบานเตียงสองตีกูตรูตายน้อมเนี่ยได้เดาไอกระซานุหมักสู้บังเจ้ดำไปบังฮันท่ากอดบานตัวตัวไอกษานุดอยระเบียบนาหนึ่งเปนาหนึ่งมีนเอาไว้คลาน้องสุธานเปียบนาคลาได้จอบเปียบปอนน้องกระลาติสะได้กอดบานตัวตัวไอกษานุจุมพูไอกษาติปีสหพิญญาบันบัญเจตาไอกษานุปรมัยปรโมบานปีมาเชื่อมันโดนไอ้กษัตริย์กัมพูชีดีซีเคมนู้นในบรรษาทานจีดในชนะปีปอนปีสหพิญญาบรรดาปอดมินมุติตสมโตสหพิญญาก็บรรดาปอดดมินบรรทายมุติตเตะตรงตัวหนึ่งกาเดซาตุกไอกษามุนเปิดไดไอกษานุเคลมดอกไดมาเชื่อมโดไอกษานุเตสมตุกมุนเปิดไดไอกษานุตัวตัวบ้านนูบันดาซาบันซาทันจีนุเตเอาไว้ไดยืนขยมจังดังคือท่าตาไอกษานุโรคเคยเนื้อกระไหลนะดอยเนี่ยนะเนื้อเป็นนะหายเกิดบรรจุนตะการบรรษาทานจิตได้ระเบียบนะพอระเบียบพอระเบียบถึงอันนี้วิอัยบรรจัดีเพียบดาวหนึ่งเพียบได้อาชีพบ้านในไอเกษานุประเภทไอกษาติบัยคือกำหนดให้องประชุมในสภีดำนางประชาชนในการประชาประชาธิปไตยสหพิญญาบันบัญเจธาไอกษามุยได้อาจกำหนดได้อาจเชื่อกำหนดให้ในการประชุมระบบสภีดำนางประชาชนการประชาประชาธิปไตยนู้คือดอยซาตาไอกษานุมีนปราเปียทาจักรพอดอเมริกกรอนแต่เปียทาจักรพอดอเมริกได้เชี่ยดมรอยมุ้ยในเพียบชี้เจ้าตลอดไอกษานี่ดอยซาเปียญาโยธาวิจิเปียปิ้งได้ปราชีจมน้อยปีเสสำหรับบำราบมโนกรมวิจัยปะกรมนิการวิจัยการปฏิเปียธาจักรพอดอเมริกนี้คือตระบานปลาอย่างตุลุมตุลีนึกน้องดมอนซีนี้รู้จะให้น้องตัวสวัสดิ์จัดสรรนู่นมันเหม็นกรอนแต่เคยเปียปิ้งนี่มวยมัดนึกน้องไอกษานู่นให้ก็บัญชีท่าวิจัยกษาไม่รบกกัมพูชีบัญชีทัพไต้หวันที่บุญกำหนดให้ในกิจประชุมเซ็นเซ็นเตียนมีนไอกษาจำนวนปีในขนมกรมจำนวนท่าไอกษานี้ดาวสหพิญญาบานเลิกต
ามสะพรียาคือไอกระสาที่มุ้ยตรบานบุคคลมันเนี้ยได้เมียนเลยสมกอล TCE สามสะประมใบปรากฏตัวเอาไม่เชื่อมันโดนไอกระสากัมพูชีดีซีแคมในชนะมวยป้อนประมวลรอยการสะประมวยจำนวนโดยมวลเทียบกันท่ายื่นเหมือนไอ้ดังท่าบุกโกลดามิเลชสมกอลทีซีอีสามสับปรำใบนี่บ้านตัวตัวไอ้กระซานอปีหน้าบ้านตัวตัวดอยระเบียบหน้าบ้านตัวตัวเหนือเปลน่าก็ยื่นอัดบ้านดังได้โดยเช่นยื่นเคยท่าในขนมไอ้กระซานี้มายางเทียนคือท่าเมียนปอดามิเลชตัวขี้วิปิปรัวประพบในการตัวบ้านไอกาซาบังเจนั่นเลยไอกาซาเซิงเตี้ยมันโดยเคลียจีจงมันจอมเขียนบาทยุ่งขึ้นท่าต่ำร้อยบีเพียบจีเจ้ดาสาพิยาบันเลิกบังหายจมพัวไอกระซาเตียงนู้มันตอนกรุบกรอนเต๋อโดยฉะนั้นเขียมส้มตัวตุยดอกดาวดอกดาวส้มออยปีนิดเดลือกาจูเจียนนี่อยบานชะบ้านล้อให้หมดเชียวบายแต่อายเฟอบานนู้คือทาเตอร์ฮาวเตอร์อินจิงเนี่ยได้เจาะเปียปอนนี่ดำไปเอาเพียกีมีนักการดังดาวดำไปเป็นเจ้าปีเพียบเจ้าเจ้าบานในพอตางหรือไอกระสาติอ่อนดุสมอคุณมาอคุณลูกไม่ตัววิเลยนี่ดอกปีลสมมุติหนึ่งสมระปิศาหาทั้งไงตรองเฮ้ยคงยังได้ประกาศสมระดำไปปิศาหาทั้งไงตรองจะปีปีนี่ตัวเตอร์เราดมองมวยสามสับหนึ่งตีเรซิลนี่สมบัติเจอโจวิ่งดำไปบนโต๊ะกันจำนาคาสามนาคาอันนู้นเนี่ยบันทีคงแข็งไอ้นอมกลวนลูกคือสมพรตลอดเตอร์การประตุกแห่งกรมรงช้ำให้หนึ่งเราดอเรซิลมองทำไอ้นอมกลวนก้อนมังการท่าสามนาคาในวิ่งไอ้บานมุนมองมวยสามสับหนึ่งตีสมบัติเจอจำนาเจ้า